right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, and is it good morning even? I think it's good afternoon. Good afternoon since uh, it's Ethiopia. It's afternoon time. We are 12.32, yeah. So it's good afternoon. Um, we're starting our stand-up, Kifia. This is week 11, uh, 10th of July. And before maybe we go further, uh, we can see the recap of yesterday, maybe and Monday as well. So the schedule was not that long. Uh, can I confirm that I can be heard? All right, thank you so much, Abraham. Uh, yeah, I mean, the schedule was not too long. On Monday, um, we had uh, day one tutorial, introduction to challenge, and then uh, tutorial one, com completing in cargo. And then yesterday, we had a tutorial um, completing in Zindi, and then career challenge tutorial as well, and then pen challenge work. So today, the schedule is not that long as well. Um, before the past days, I was not around for the community building session, but today we're gonna have uh, the CBS on 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 time, and we have Q and A session. So uh, please do attend. I think that's that's it for the schedule. Maybe you can pass the mic to you guys. If there's any progress, you can share. If anything, uh, it's week eleven, and of course we are also completing the. Uh, the training uh, next week is the last week of the training. I hope maybe you might have something to say, you know, something to comment about that. So, uh, in case you have any challenge, we have Kerodi with us. He'll be assisting. So maybe you can open the mic to you. Anyone who's who's ready to start, uh, Matos or Abram? Yes, Matos, you can go ahead. Okay, and uh, let me share my screen. I have uh, start yes, writing my. Okay. Is it visible? Hello, Mia. Hello, Kerot. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's loading. Yeah, sure. You can see. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Uh, for this week's challenge, uh, our uh, uh, there was uh, like uh, the mission is a Pokemon. There were three uh, challenges, and uh, we, we were. Uh, I can't see the presentation. I can see which is okay. Now I can see it. Perfect. No. Okay, I I think uh, it's from your connection. Probably yeah. yeah. And I can see it. We good. Okay, thank you. Um, Kerode, is, uh, is my slide visible? Is my yes, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the, the challenge for this week was uh, to select one challenge from the given document and I work uh, on that challenge. So, before I uh, the first thing to do was uh, choosing a challenge. Uh, so uh, I, I have, I have to do some uh, analysis on the on the on the, on the oh, in all the three challenges. So I have done some uh, researching on them, and uh, so that uh, I can, that will help me to to pick uh, the, that challenge that fits uh, uh, to my knowledge, and that I can I can also contribute more and learn more from it. So from my analysis, uh, I chose the uh, Walmart sales prediction. Uh, the reason I chose was uh, because it's uh, real world. Uh, both, uh, uh, all the three projects are real world uh, scenarios, but the, the, from the data and the science perspective and the different reasons, I think I can contribute more on the also data complexity. It's, it's contained a lot of data microeconomic indicator, inverse holidays, uh, weather data. So I think it's more complex in the uh, understanding correlation between them. Uh, I think it can help me in, in getting a new knowledge on the data analysis and the future engineering and the model building. So I pick that one. The another, region, uh, another reason I pick uh, this uh, challenge was uh, evaluation metrics that I think uh, we've uh, mentioned on the, on the, on the calculate challenge. 
and uh, that I think also can you know I can uh, I can able to get more uh, score on that. So I pick uh, this one. The second uh, thing I did was uh, going going to the library used that have uh, the scored more uh, on the public score and uh, on also the private score. So I was able to check some notebooks that uh, scored high. Uh, to get more uh, understanding of the libraries uh, and the modules that perform well uh, on that challenge. So I was able to see some uh, pandas, I think, uh, for, for uh, like uh, normally we are using for the data uh, loading purpose. I use uh, select pandas and NumPy for mathematical functions, and I used uh, since uh, regular expressions, then Mitrovia for plotting. And that's I work for also plotting. Uh, and uh, the another uh, model I chose was the statistics model, uh, stats models uh, for uh, time series uh, and analysis part. Where for modeling parts, I use uh, this one, uh, this uh, model uh, that I think perform well on the on the on both public and uh, private scores. Then the, the then I have uh, also tried to see some modules that perform well in the machine learning part. So I was able to see some like uh, profits that from Facebook that was uh, built from Facebook and the uh, uh, XG booster uh, from Gradient Boosting uh, that I have also uh, see that they perform well on that. Uh, prediction so I select uh, those libraries and uh, I'm currently working on the EDA uh, I'm have also I have already started uh, I have also uh, loaded I have also loaded the data I'm trying now to the to, to pre-process the data loading it and uh, checking uh, missing values cleaning them, and then uh, just checking out drives and maybe I have I will move to future engineering that's so far I have again for now uh, that's good thank you for the update and it's a really good update but uh make sure to go through also that uh, data clinic and pre-processing because uh most of the data that you get from these competitions are not like suitable to just start uh your analysis but yeah, that's a good update. But, uh, and make sure to go through, uh, especially now if uh, that you have selected uh, a competition from Kaggle, make sure to go through the available notebooks or the already submitted codes in order to have some ideas of how they did it and what you can improve and just to help you in choosing the algorithms. Okay, thank you. I will do that. Amazing. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Matos. Uh, maybe Abram can go next. Okay, good afternoon, oh. everyone. Good afternoon. Okay, yesterday, uh, I think uh, my my progress uh, is somehow similar uh, with uh, Mati. Uh, we both selected, I guess, the same uh, the same project. Yesterday, I did manage to uh, review some of the. I selected, uh, as I uh, have told you yesterday, I selected the Walmart uh, sales prediction uh, project, and uh, yesterday I I managed to. Uh, uh, review some of the notebooks uh, already submitted for for that challenge um, and uh, i uh, they are a working solution i guess they already submitted notebooks once uh, i i somehow got uh, you know confused how uh, what uh, we, we are going to add or uh, you know modify from uh, from uh, from them, uh, it's uh, it seems uh, you know it's uh, it's good enough for me. But uh, I try to uh, to do the you know the project setup and 
and I am also able to load the data set and uh, you know do some uh, data pre-processing. I have cleaned the data. I have noticed that some uh, missing values and in uh, appropriate values in uh, in the data set. Uh, I have I have uh, converted the numerical, categorical, and the date values into proper data type. I have managed to do that. Uh, yesterday but i i somehow got confused uh, how uh, how we add you know our value to uh, to this uh, competition because the solutions are already provided uh, in the in the code section and uh, it's not um, you know clear for me how how we are going to do that uh, I, and also i have heard uh, not uh, you know on the challenge introduction we need to submit uh, three times uh, so that we we improve uh, our rank on the leader leader board i i i am also somehow confused about that maybe if uh, you can clarify that it would be very helpful thank you hi everyone maybe Hey, ready to Hello. Hi, Emilia and everyone. So maybe Abraham, uh, I heard half of your questions, I think, but uh, then you just said submitting the assignment three times. Actually, it's minimum, minimum three times. You can do it more. The point is you can check uh, like, while submitting your project, you can submit your project 10 times. Uh, you can make a submission 10 times a day. So while submitting, if you are going to submit a better uh, uh, a better form of the project or better submission, then you're going to have an improvement on the leaderboard. So you might also put the screenshot of that so that it's going to be an evidence for us. Yeah, so that is what he meant in the introduction uh, part. I mean, have you have you submitted uh, once or have you tried the submission? Abraham? Or no, I didn't uh, try the submission. Uh, I have also, you know, got confused uh, on, uh, I mean, about, uh, you know, how to make the improvement on the already the provided notebooks. They uh, they made available notebooks with a complete solution, and I uh, I don't know how. Maybe if uh, you have some ideas for uh, how to make the improvement from the given it's, you know solution so like I, I uh, are you looking for their solution i mean there are other people who have done the same project many people you're going to have a competition or you're going to compete with them so are you checking their solution is that the, yeah, the, the solution the solution is already provided uh, on no, the, like on you're the going target. to do yeah yeah so, so that is why it is a competition actually so you're going to, if your submission is going to be better than them, actually, you need to do your own project. So you're not going to consider their submission. Okay. So okay, I doing your I'm own project to... and doing the better form of that submission or like your own, your own submission. And if your second submission is going to be better than the first one, then it's going to be improved. So I think you don't need to check your uh, the other uh, submission or answers. Maybe for like uh, you're, you're going to make some report about other submission, right? Yeah. Just for that, but while doing your project, you're going to build in your own way. If I did your, your question right, maybe I think Matthias okay. said something. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, I think Abraham is uh, saying that uh, how uh, I think there are uh, already challenges completed. We can't get uh, the best scoring, publicly scoring, and the private scored uh, uh, notebooks. And uh, with uh, after we select the high and uh, go through the library used, and uh, after that. I think Abraham is saying uh, why, uh, what are the changes we have to make uh, so that 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 uh, model uh, that we can scare a score higher score on the public and the private score. Yes. Yeah. What are some of the things we have to do? Maybe the cleaning the data might affect it or like that. I, I think. Uh, what are so the, like some of the things we have? 
engagement point. So yeah, that, that that's kind of going to be the assignment. That's maybe uh, something that I can add if there are uh, different metrics for different assignments, right? So I actually didn't look for the metrics that you're going to be evaluated in Kraken for based on your assignment. Have you checked for that? So maybe it might be the result or for, for example, if you have participated in the calculation on Monday, uh, one of the tasks that we took, the submissions was based on the error. Okay, if you can minimize the error in any way, then you're going to have a good score. So it depends on the matrix. Have you checked the matrix for the project that you have chosen? Yes, uh, I've, I've, I've tried to check. Uh, I think in me, I think it's uh, based on the error. Uh, but uh, how, how? What are some of the things that are common that uh, we can uh, change? Can do more effort, or maybe hyperparameter tuning can help us to score more? I don't know which uh, factors that uh, can affect more on the uh, sc scoring high. Yeah, actually, that is kind of going to be the assignment. Specifically, I'm, I'm not sure which project you've chosen, and yeah, we need to go through the project. Uh, I'm not sure which project from the three you've chosen, and, and yeah, we need to see them and go through the projects in order to change in what part of the project will improve the score. But uh, don't you think that that is going to be the main goal or the main assignment of the, the fix the, the, the solutions, or there are many solutions that are provided? Which part am I going to change, or yeah, which part do I need to change in order to have a better uh, score? I think that is the assignment. That if I were uh, specifically, if you give me time and if you give me the project that you're taking, maybe we can come to some uh, recommendations and things like that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Radit, I think that's uh, that's very helpful. Uh, and uh, one question I have about the submission, uh, you know, to to submit uh, uh, the, the the notebook on the Kaggle, we have to actually, you know, complete uh, all the steps, right? So that uh, they can evaluate um, the error of uh, our model. That's why I didn't submit, uh, I didn't make any submission so far. Yes, actually, that makes sense. In order for them to evaluate it, they need the final format, right? Final format they have provided if it is in Kaggle. So you need to, I mean, as you have said before, there are different um, things that you can take for, yeah, I mean, uh, assignments that have them so that you can take a like, large amount of insight from them, take that insight. And my advice will be try to focus on the improvements. And then yeah, it's not going to be yeah. addressed. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So some confusion here. So uh, they're not going to calculate you if the year based on your model, but your had submission. So they already have the real data. Your voice is breaking, Kirok. Uh, like, uh, okay, what I was I think it is better. Okay. So the way to evaluate it is not by using the model, but by using the submission. So they already have the real data. The and they're gonna see how your results is going to vary from the results. So the roots, like the, like uh, for instance, they may use the uh, main root uh, error, the MRE, I believe. So what they do is they're just gonna calculate the mean root of the error between the real data and your submission and tell you the average uh, or the mean. Uh, root uh, error that you have made. But I understand your concern. I was trying to speak up here, but I believe I was, the network was not good. But I believe, uh, like, I understand your concern because uh, the submissions are already there and uh, you can just copy and paste them uh, and so on just to get the same results. But what we want you to do is just do your own research and use that as. Uh, 
uh, just uh, review, right? So there is always room for improvement, right? So what I would suggest is you to go through uh, one of the highest ranking uh, notebooks and try to find things that you can do in order to just improve. So one thing you need to actually know is, uh, for instance, you could see some of the results or some of the submissions that have a very high score, like really, really close to uh, zero. Uh, just know that they, these are most probably not right because uh, like predictions are not done that way. Uh, so some of them are cheats and you can see that uh, you, you can just go through them and uh, you can you, you cannot find uh, their code. Right? They will not send it there, therefore, because it's already uh, a fraud or a fake. But if you could find, just try to run it, and it will, you will not get the same result. Most of the those predictions are not perfect as to, uh, as to the point that you get 0% or 0 errors from the real data. So uh, just try to uh, view how they did it. Just try to get familiar with the algorithm and come up with your own algorithm that you believe is better, or uh, even if it's not better, somehow uh, different and get the same results. Right? So they may be using uh, uh, like regressions, right? They may be using the three model, but you can just try to achieve the same thing by using uh, classification or like it's, uh, like other algorithms, right? So the goal of this week assignment is not for you to just copy uh, or uh, redo what others did, but just to find the points where you can improve them uh, and do your own work. By, you can just review their algorithm, not copy them, but review the algorithm and choose the one that you, may, that you think is good. Like just uh, like, I believe Matthias was, uh, Presenting this, those things. So, for the first uh, submission, he, he may be using these algorithms that we have shown us earlier. But for the second submission, he would just tweak uh, some things and try to get a better result. And for the third one, the same thing. What you need to understand is uh, like a better model, what you would consider a better model would uh, not always. Uh, give you a better result okay? so uh, just try to play around with many mod models uh, i don't know uh, i don't think uh, it's publicly visible uh, the number of submissions that others have made in order to achieve their rank but uh, Z uh, uh you can see like yesterday on our session we were looking at some submissions that were exceeding 100, okay? more than 100 submissions for one competition just to get at a higher uh, rank. Okay? So it needs more and more uh, trials and like, fine new things, new algorithms, new methods in order to achieve a higher score. So just try uh, to take a look at what they did and try to come up with your algorithm. Your algorithm should not be uh, like a perfect one on the first try, but try to improve them as you go by looking at the result and trying to understand why the result is uh, like what you are saying. Right? So on the first, like I remember the first like, co competition that I was participating in on Kaga. My first, like uh, I believe, my first time this was uh, eleven thousand and said something out of a hundred thousand. So what I did was just try to uh, look at other algorithms and try to find the problem with my algorithm and just try to improve, 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 and that like you can improve immensely by just changing one point on your algorithm. So just try to review with the algorithm, try to understand the algorithm. Yeah, most of them even use uh, like machine learning, uh, yeah, neural networks and so on. Like, 
uh, they use much, much more complex uh, algorithms in order to achieve these results, which you cannot do with your current uh, like computational power. Right? So just try to do what you can with what you have uh, on your like when you, with your computational power and so on, and just try to improve. So what I, I can promise you is you cannot copy and just work with most of the algorithms yet that you can see on the top of the leaderboard because they use a much higher uh, power intensive, like computational intensive algorithms. So what you're gonna do is just try to uh, review what they did and just come up with your algorithm. So I hope I wasn't breaking up. I was like, like I was earlier. But uh, yeah, okay, good. So am I understood, guys? Thank you, sir, uh, so much, uh, Kerod. Uh, I have you know more uh, insights now. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. So yes. we do yes. have it. In it was a good insight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we, we we do have a query on this question in the afternoon. So just try to like at least take a look at what uh, what we have discussed now, and we can talk about the uh, the in detail in the afternoon. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, thank you guys. I think that make marks the end of our stand up. If I'm not wrong, is there be any announcement ready to okay road? No. Uh, all right yeah thank you so much guys i think uh here we just meet in the cbs i'll be dropping it in the in the channel uh let's uh engage thank you so much for today see you bye, bye, bye guys.